Good morning, everybody. It's Miss Judy. I just wanted to do a video for you today. I'm looking out my window. The leaves are turning a little bit of co different colors, but still very, very dry here in Tennessee. But anyway, we keep on going. Fall will be here, I'm sure. I wanted to do something in design space, and um, I'm working on some scrapbooking and doing uh, eight and a half by 11, trying an experiment with that in a, an album so that they are not quite so bundlesome. Uh, so I got into design space and I wanted to show you what I was working on. If you open up your design space, you'll see it a uh, home page and you sign in. Has lots of icons you can look at, has new project if you want that. You can always click on all categories and see all the things that are in there. I'm going to my projects and it'll bring up all the projects that I have saved which is such a nice feature of the design space because you work hard fixing a design you want, sizing it, getting it ready, layers, etc. and you are feeling like you want to use it again for another um, card or another layout or something you want to do so all you have to do is click the save and give it a title and then you, there you have it so I, right now I'm working on one that I t uh, made called close to my heart happy Halloween scrapbook page I clicked on that to bring up my project that I've saved down at the bottom because I want to show you a couple of features and change something I'm going to click customize if I was ready to make it I would click make it or there's an edit button and I hardly ever use that but I'm going to click customize and show you what happens it's going to load up my project on the mat as I have it now I can click on the images and it will bring up the canvas as I have it now. What I'm going to do is show you how you can make the um, let me get it there. Make the canvas smaller so that when you click on your project, you can bring it down and you can put it at another place. It still has the increments by inches, but you can place it somewhere on your mat. And this is sized to do an eight and a half by 11. If I wanted to do a larger size, I would go to the button that has the arrows, hold my fingers down and click it. And this will tell you the size when you click it that it is now should somewhere uh, and so that at that point I could say it is 8 9 10 11 12 16 24 32 but I have it on 8 so it's 32 minus 8 <laughs> Let me go over here get this fixed up a little bit better there 24 by 24 by 16. So if I took half of that, this would be 12 for this and it would be 16 high. So I might want to make it a little bit shorter. And I can go in and manipulate whatever sizes I want to do. If I'm done or if I want to change it back to what I had, there is a redo button and an undo button. And so I click undo, undo, and keep clicking that till it gets it back to the size that I had it before. Undo. And then I can go back to my canvas and do it the way I want to. 
I can click from here, make it, or I can go back to my canvas and do some more things that I might want to do on this. I'm using my little tablet for today. Um, so that's what I wanted to show you on this. And each of the layers you can manipulate also. You can um, make them larger, smaller. You can pull them out and use them on something else, which is a, a easy thing to do too. And I will show you that at some point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out of this, close all, go ahead and turn this off, power down. Then I wanna show you the layouts that I did. I have, it's a two page layout. I have my first one already put together to save time for you. Um, and each piece goes together easily. You can embellish with whatever else you wanna do. I put some stickles on here to make it sparkly. Then this page I have not put together yet, except for the, excuse me, I haven't put the icons or the images on yet. I did put the spider web that you cut out. I used white as a background. You could use any color you want. Purple, yellow, uh, um, green, or, or whatever. You could use pattern paper in the background. Whatever you want to do for your main page. And since I sized it to 8.5 by 11, it's a little bit smaller than... I, I sized it a little bit smaller. Um, so these are some of the icons that will go on this. And I wanted to show you how this comes out. These uh, can pu be pulled out of a design like I was talking about. And you can size them, make them any shape you want, uh, size you want. It comes out with the layers, bottom layer, top layer. And then these are the sections of the pumpkin that are a little bit smaller. And all you have to do use your glue, attach this, and then I'll go ahead and get one on here. And what I do for these, I'm just using some of the little art glue. I, I like glitter art glue, and I'm going to attach this, I'm not doing a full blown glitter glue application. Just tapping some down, and because it's going to be an enclosed artwork, and I forgot again, I put glue on this. I do not glue glue on that little wiggly stuff, but I did it. Then this is down, and then I fit my pieces in. It's just a little lighter shade of the orange. You can put any colors you want to use and make it your own style, your own design. I think I'm going to use these pumpkins, just pull them out because I really like this, and use the pumpkins on, um, I think I got, nope, that's the right one, on a card. And uh, instead of having to cut out these little pieces that go in, I'm just going to use a pattern paper for the layer, and oh, I might, I might go ahead and use the, I'm going to experiment with that, I'm going to make them a little bit smaller, so that if I have a card that will fit, I will use this, and change it around a little bit, then I'm ready to put the page together and I can put pictures on it, I can journal on it. Not sure what I'll be doing on this one, but I'll be doing something fun. And I'll be putting this design up at the top of this panel. It's October 31st. This one says boo. And there you have it. 
this is from the new Cricut Close to My Heart Design Space Cartridge. It is $29.95. You get it digitally. That means instantly <laughs> into your design space. And it has cards. It has layouts. Each of the different icons, even the different um, uh, designs you can make bigger you can make them smaller you can pull out little sections to use on other things I made this into a card it's a layout or a card I'm going to use this one as a layout for some more Halloween <clears throat> but I'm also going to make it smaller and make it into a little card uh, but the designs are really cool I have heard that they're going to be adding more into it. Right now it's called the Complete Creativity Sample Shapes from Close to My Heart. If you have Cricut Access, you should be able to get some of the other Close to My Heart Cricut cartridges into your Access program if you have that. So you might check it out. But that's what I wanted to show you about today. I wanted to show you the layout how to put them together, how to size it. Um, also, I wanted to um, tell you that if you're interested in purchasing anything, you can just go to my website, judyashmore.closetomyheart.com. On that website, you can find my page. You can sign in or you can order as a guest. Everything you order will be um, mailed to your house. And that is one of the cool things about Close to My Heart or any of these pro programs that you do. But this one especially, you can have things mailed right to your house. So, I want to wish you a happy fall day. I love talking to all of you. I love talking to myself. Ta-ta!